Welcome to this video cast about how we can install WordPress and uh, MySQL 8 on OCI. So we're going to use the free tree of uh, Oracle Cloud and we're going to install um, Compute Instances. So we're going to start first with uh, creating these two, two instances, one for WordPress and one for um, MySQL 8.0. So let's start with the WordPress. I'm going to use the Oracle uh, Linux 7 and we're going to put them in. We are, we are in Frankfurt. I'm going to use the micro uh, instance, which is free. I use my SSH key here and I create um, this uh, instance. As you can see. some information about the instance here and the instance it start to be provisioned so meanwhile let's create a second instance the one where uh, we're going to install MySQL, uh, MySQL 8 so the database for the WordPress we use exactly the same image same shape for um, the VM and we put the SH key so even uh, we will have a um, public AP for the MySQL, but we will not use it. We can even remove it. By default, it creates one, but we're going to remove it uh, later. So here we can see the public AP, the only one we're going to use, the one for WordPress. And uh, it has a private IP also. So first, let's try to connect to it. I use, of course, my... Uh, SSH key uh, I pass I paste. The user is OPC, and we use the public AP uh, we have. We connect, and as you can see, we are on the WordPress machine. This is first step perfect. Now we're gonna use uh, install some uh, repository Apple. And we're gonna use also, we're gonna also install um, Remy's repo. This is to, insto to install the latest um, PHP version we want to use. So here it is for the reinstall. We enable uh, Remy PHP uh, 7.4. We install PHP, PHP CLI. So all this PHP version for uh, Oracle Linux come from a Remis repo. You can see it install Apache and PHP um, 7.4.3. We acknowledge, uh, we accept some um, keys here and we can see it does the install of all we need. So this is perfect. So now we're gonna use we're gonna install other uh, PHP package we know we we usually use for um, WordPress, and of course we need the uh, PHP uh, MySQL and D uh, with um, all the connectors to connect PHP to MySQL. I add some other uh, modules I know that are. Uh, usually used for uh, WordPress, like JSON, uh, XML. Of course, this version are the same version of PHP, so in this case, 7.4 again. So this is the list of what is going to be installed. We say yes, it installs everything. Okay, this is perfect, completed. Now we can check also uh, the modules that are uh, for the PHP and we can see that all the authentication module and the new one, the default one for MySQL is there. So this is perfect. It's loaded, it's available on the system. So our connection will be secure by, by default. 
so we have we check the network and uh, we check the subnet here 10 0 to 24 we uh, we can um, add a new security list to allow of course uh, the connection from outside to um, Apache in this case I won't use any SSL right now so uh, I will allow only uh, connection on port uh, 80 if you need SSL don't forget port 443 um, also so I would say for everywhere on port 80 we allow uh, of course using TCP we allow all the connections this is done perfect so as you can see we can SSH we can do a ping and we now uh, are able to connect on HTTP so our two instances are ready WordPress and MySQL we go back to WordPress we're gonna use um, the IP let's use it it's impossible to connect of course we need to start Apache we start Apache we create some rules for um, let's say allowing traffic to port 80 but don't forget that the VM also has its own firewall and we need to enable there inside there to um, the um, access to the port 80 so I use the firewall CMD command for my zone public it should be permanent I will add the port 80 in TCP to allow connections to it this is done I need to reload the firewall and now I can test again and we see we are Arriving, uh, we arrive directly on the Apache page. This is what we need. So let's go back. Now we're uh, uh, we're gonna install WordPress. So I'll download the latest version of WordPress. And uh, we will uh, replace the word the HTML uh, default um, folder by the um, WordPress one. So first I will uh, unpack all WordPress done we can see we have uh, latest which is what we downloaded we have WordPress what we uh, extracted and HTML uh, I will remove uh, latest remove HTML no need and I will run rename WordPress as HTML so now because there is only one site no need to configure anything I will use the default and um, everything we're gonna reach this machine we will be in WordPress change the owner to Apache and refresh again now and we can see that we are in WordPress PHP wor is working so now we need to uh, install MySQL on the MySQL instance we have also a private IP and as I said we will not connect to the public one but to the to the private one of course the key is not working we need to connect to the web one but forwarding the agent so forwarding the key now we are in WordPress and from there we can connect to the MySQL of course now we have a two public IP we could have connected from uh, to the public IP but later I will remove it uh, so I don't want it so I installed the MySQL 8 repository this is done perfect now we're gonna of course install um, MySQL 8 uh, server I use the community server let's do it it's installed take some time to download and to install everything meanwhile I will reconnect to the Apache server so my the WordPress machine 
and see uh, everything we need to configure and check when everything is okay. On the WordPress machine, I will also uh, install uh, the MySQL shell. So I can connect. I will be able to connect from there if I need to test. MySQL server is a bit longer to install. So now let's prepare also to connect. We need to allow connection on 3306. Uh, so here I have already made earlier um, a public uh, MySQL uh, uh, rules here. As you can see, I already made for 10, 10 0, 0, 16. I'm allowing 3306 and uh, also the um, traffic for uh, X protocol 23060 and group replication if needed but I won't use any group replication on, on this uh, example. So now that I have installed MySQL, I have the rules, I can start MySQL on the my MySQL uh, VM. So MySQL it started. It of course create a, D, a password randomly a password for uh, the root account I need to find it so I will grab it in the log file this is uh, the password that I will have to uh, to change and uh, of course uh, replace and then create a user for WordPress so I'm installed I'm installing the shell also I won't use the old MySQL client I will always use the new shell uh, it's a good time to only use it. So I'm now I'm connecting with the uh, the password we had, so the temporary password, and uh, I will uh, change it here with uh, a more uh, secure password or a password I, I have selected. So this is the password for root at local host right now. Now I will create a user that we're gonna use uh, for uh, our WordPress. Um, site so the user will be my VP. I will then it will be identified by a new password and of course it will use the new uh, authentication plugin because the default one in MySQL 8 we haven't changed anything in the configuration so I create a database for the WordPress I will call it WordPress and now I will uh, add the privileges I need for um, my user to uh, on that WordPress database. Currently, I grant all privileges because I need to uh, add, delete everything uh, to do everything from WordPress itself. This is done. We can go back. So first we disable uh, SLinux first time because he needs to modify in the Apache um, website some stuff. I configure everything so the, the, the configuration needs to be changed by uh, Apache itself. So he needs to write in his directory, which doesn't, uh, SLinux doesn't allow by default. And I didn't check yet which uh, rules I need to do that. So now in MySQL, I also need uh, we have added the, the rules earlier for 3306, but the internal firewall has also uh, this uh, limitation, and so we need to enable it and reload the firewall when it's done. So in MySQL, I need to allow port, um, to accept port 3306 connections. Done. So now we can see that we have installed everything, which is perfect. We can re and we configure everything. So we can proceed to continue uh, with the installation uh, of the setup of WordPress. We can see I finish all the steps. And it's installed WordPress. And now we can log in with the user we have created and the password we, we got. And
and as you can see it's quite very easy and uh, it's quite fast to install WordPress and MySQL 8 on OCI so all it's in Oracle Cloud now very easy all the free tree you can try it for free let's do it thank you